Hi, I'm Dr. Bart Klicka, Chief Research and Strategy Officer here at Prevent Child Abuse America. And I'm here this month for my research review to talk about a recent paper that came out estimating the economic burdens of child sexual abuse by Dr. Elizabeth Letourneau at Johns Hopkins. Many of you have likely seen this article. This is the original FANG study uh, that estimated the economic burden of child maltreatment published in 2012. In this study, what they looked at is the lifetime economic burden of child maltreatment for both fatal and non-fatal cases of child maltreatment and estimated that non-fatal cases uh, incurred a lifetime cost of approximately $210,000 uh, in treating the consequences of maltreatment. If adjusted for 2015 numbers, uh, that's closer to $228,000 per child victim. In their estimate, they included things such as productivity losses, child health care costs, adult medical costs, special education, child welfare, and criminal justice. If you look at just the cases of both fatal and non-fatal child maltreatment from the year 2008, which is when they based their estimates, the total lifetime economic burden for just those cases was approximately $123 billion. In a recent article by Dr. Elizabeth Letourneau, she used a very similar methodology to try to estimate the economic burden of child sexual abuse in the United States. Um, differently than the FANG study, uh, Dr. Letourneau attempted to estimate separate costs for both females and for males, and found that per female victim of child sexual abuse, they will incur a lifetime economic burden of nearly $282,000. And again, that's in healthcare, medical, productivity losses, child welfare, violence and crime, special education, and suicide. If you look over onto the male side, it's closer to $75,000 in economic burden of child sexual abuse. And as they note in the paper, uh, the researchers had difficulty in actually estimating productivity losses uh, for males in this study. So this really represents a very conservative estimate of what the per male child victim economic burden of child sexual abuse would actually be. Nonetheless, if we look at just the cases of fatal and non-fatal child sexual abuse from the year 2015, we see that they will incur a lifetime economic burden of nearly $9.3 billion. Like the original FANG study, these cost estimates are staggering. We're going to continue to watch these methodologies as they emerge, and we do a better job of estimating things like productivity losses for males like they struggled with in this study. I also wanted to bring to your attention a recent article that was published in the Journal of Child Sexual Abuse this past month that was co-authored by our Massachusetts Executive Director, Jetta Bernier. Uh, that looks at enough online training program for K-12 through teachers. I put a link to the article down below if you're interested in looking at it. That's all for now. If you have ideas for future research reviews, please contact me at the email address on the screen. Have a great month.